Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up our own weapon for the melee module. Slightly different than our shooter weapon setup, but necessary if we want to make our own game. In order to create this we will need Unity and the melee module. What I'll be showing is one of the ways to do things, but obviously it can be done in different ways. So let's dive in. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be um, reusing my uh, dual weapon scene. Um, you don't have to use this, um, you can just use someone else, something else. The um, reason I'm using this is because I already have a box that you know picks up a sword, um, but you could basically use any scene that just you know has a boss to, box to pick up a weapon, um, or not even that, just you know however you do it yourself. Um, just make sure you have a player controller ready and you have the melee module ready. Now, just like um, we did for our um, setting up our own um, shooter uh, weapon, um, I'm going to do the same here. So um, here when we go to uh, assets, weapons, we have our sword weapon. So, you know, just follow these steps and you'll get there. Um, I just took a shortcut. Um, it uses a different prefab. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply duplicate this one. Um, so sword weapon, and we're going to rename this um, to katana weapon. There we go. Reason I'm renaming it to katana weapon is because that's the only um, melee asset I actually have that is different. Don't have anything else. Now, um, I want to make sure that, um, you know, we're not going to edit the existing um, weapon model. Um, so let me make sure that um, we duplicate this one as well and rename it to uh, sword weapon, uh, katana weapon as well. There we go. Now, this is the basic um, first steps. Uh, just making sure we're not actually going to, um, you know, replace anything um, that already exists. So in our katana weapon, let's look up the new model, katana weapon, and there we have it. Now I'm going to keep it in the right hand, um, just like with, um, just like with the shooter uh, weapon, um, the offset determines where exactly it lies in the hand. Um, However, where you actually hold it is determined um, in the actual model itself. So um, let's actually start with the model itself. So I'm going to open this up. Um, so here we have our uh, model, but as you can see, um, there's something else. So we have the model itself, um, but the parent actually has a blade component script. Um, so this has a point A and B. Now point, I'm guessing this is point A. Um, point A actually is where the character will hold the weapon, so that's quite important to know. Point B is the edge of the sword. Now I'm going to um, drag in my own model. I um, got this from uh, another asset, um, and yeah, it, it you know it, it simply is the only other one I have, so that's why I'm using this one. Um, there we go. Now I'm going to reposition this. Um, seems about right. Uh, let me rotate that. Good, 90 degrees. There we go. Um, not really sure I'll be holding it the right way, but this is just an educated guess. And I want him to hold the weapon about about here. Now this sword is a lot smaller than the default one, um, although I have to say that you know the default one is is really big. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's quite a big weapon. So let's just disable that one. Uh, that's actually a bit, a bit too high up. Um, oh, Let's make sure we select the right one. There we go. That seems about right. Yeah, it looks about to be in the middle. There we go. So the default weapon is actually quite big. Um, so it's not that this model is this small. Um, the default weapon is a is a great sword. Now I don't know if you've ever played Skyrim, but you know a great sword is a 
is a pretty big weapon. So let's make sure no wow that's really annoying just not yeah this seems about right so I have to make sure that um, this point here is at the edge of the sword because um, otherwise your collisions will be wrong now anything else um, you can set in here um, are actually some a couple of cool things um, so it actually has a couple of listed events here um, so on uh, start and you could actually um, you know add some um, particle effects for example or you know whatever you want um, we have this trail material slash um, which is um, not working in HDRP that's quite annoying um, let me actually check um, okay it's using that so I'm going to convert it to um, HDRP for a second I uh, just want to make sure additive additive two-sided there we go and wow guessing unlit I'm not really sure here just making a guess um, so it's going to be transparent double-sided and it was additive now I'm not really sure this is going to come out all that great um, but yeah mine uh, mine didn't work otherwise so cool so that's going to be the trail it might look awful but uh, just wanted to make sure um, it wasn't pink <laughs> um, because of HRP so there we have it, um, that's the basic. Now you can change a couple of other things. Let me remove the actual sword here. Um, you can change a couple of other things here, but I'm going to leave it as is. Um, I haven't experimented with any of this, so just going to keep it like that. Um, now we're going to look up our um, actual sword game creator item again. So we're going to rename it to Katana. Um, and it is a Japanese blade there we go um, default shield I'm just going to keep the default shield I won't be using one anyway now this is the state um, the animation um, it will have by default um, while holding the sword again I would you know recommend having different ones um, I don't have any custom uh, animations for this um, but depending on the type of blade you're holding he should have different uh, different animations so for a great sword for example I would actually like the default sword I would have actually had something where it's two-handed um, those are really heavy swords there's no way he's holding that like that in one hand so you know make it interesting by customizing this uh, same here with effects so we have uh, different sounds for drawing sheeting impact knockback um, so you can change these to uh, something else here now this is where it gets interesting and completely different um, than the uh, weapon setup so we have our uh, combos here um, and we have the ability to actually uh, you know edit these um, add reactions so basically it's an event system um, there's a lot you can do here you can actually have uh, damaging the opponent um, based in here so you can actually um, you know add a state uh, add an event and then call out uh, game creator actions so there's a lot you could do here um, which is you know pretty interesting uh, but completely different so for now we're just going to keep it um, like this we just want to set up a weapon see if it works so let's hit play oh no let's actually add that one here so I'm going to go to our activation weapon um, it picks up the sword and this needs to be the katana now um, and let's hit play and see what happens So here we have our beautiful cinematic again, and let's test out that new weapon we set up. So as you can see, um, works just fine. Um, I might have 
miss the offset a tiny bit but you can change this in the prefab or you can change this in the game creator um, weapon itself um, model might be slightly too small uh, as well so even the trail looks good so successfully transitioned to HDRP that's real nice um, but that's how easy it really is to set this up um, I would definitely recommend um, playing a bit around with the other settings to make it even better um, but in basis this is all you really have to do so hope you enjoyed this and if you did please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time